Born into slavery, a life of trouble and pain, many things would eventually lead to the tragic Nat Turner Slave Rebellion. In the summer of 1831, Nat Turner led a slave revolt that sent shockwaves throughout the South. This bloody uprising created a great conflict for plantation owners and slaves alike. This potentially national scale conflict sent a message to slaves everywhere that revolting would lead to a tragic compromise. At the time of the Nat Turner Slave Revolt, slavery was at its height. The North had abolished many of its slaves, but the South was still the world's greatest cotton producer, and abolishing slavery would ruin this. One slave child said, I saw my mammy beat until she was just a living piece of raw meat. John Brown, a violent American abolitionist, said, Slavery is the sin of America. The Nat Turner was born in Southampton County, Virginia, on October 2nd, 1800. He was born into slavery on the plantation of Benjamin Turner. Little is known about Nat's childhood. He attempted to escape this cruel life a few times, but was never successful. Nat Turner was extremely religious. He even baptized himself in a local creek. He would pray every night to God and even believe that he spoke to God himself. Nat Turner even believed he was the Black Moses and he was ready to lead his people out of slavery. Or take to an extreme the Black Slave interpretation of the Bible and particularly the Old Testament. But if you look at the book of Exodus, and, you know, I mean, the story is a story of uh, the Hebrews escaping from slavery and the freedom, which, not surprisingly, was a favorite among African-American slaves. He really saw himself as Jesus' ambassador, as black, the black Moses of the time. In conclusion, Nat Turner created a huge conflict in which he ended up killing over 55 white men, women, and children. He recruited over 40 slaves as a part of his rebellion. With such a huge conflict, a compromise had to be met, but none was produced. The eventual compromise of the battle he was fighting would be the end of the Civil War. Nat Turner set the stage for all men to stand up for what they believed in, even if it was extreme. Swing down chariots, won't you let me ride, oh, swing, swing down chariots, stop it, and let, let me ride, ride. oh, rock, rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord, rock rock me, Lord. Oh, come and easy, I got a heart, I got In the words of Frederick Douglass, the, the thing, thing worse than rebellion, rebellion is the thing that causes rebellion. rebellion.